hovering around $100 a share. Guess what? To a low of $108 a share. This was in 2022. It was $108 a share. The debut of chat GPT in late 22 and the resulting surge in AI adoption marked a watershed moment for NVIDIA. So that's when that AI started bubbling its head again and started coming back to life. And I'm not, and I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not telling you buy nothing I have. I might not, I might not be the person to teach you. I'm perfectly fine with that. But you need to learn this game. Because if we can watch a CEO increase his, listen to this, the dude from C, the dude from NVIDIA used to be a janitor. The dude was a janitor. Dude, the top 17 richest people in the world. He's the number one richest when it comes to making so much in such a short time. Like nobody ain't made more money than him in a short period of time. In this short period of time, like he killing them. He number one as in network a claim in a short period of time. Not over, not not ever, but in this time, like he's made a bunch. He's made up like last year and this year. Yo, he went to ninety million. He went from three billion to ninety billion. And I'm gonna give you a stat. If Nvidia goes to two hundred and fourteen dollars, he'll be the richest man in the world. Bitch, I'm a yeah, pop my shit. Nigga been having you ain't got like this. Young nigga be hating you ain't got like this. Pop my shit. It's your boy, Drappuccino, and you are now Market Traffic. Yeah. Make sure y'all hit that like, share, subscribe, notification bell. Do that for me, man. Y'all know how we do each and every Thursday, like we always do around this time. First two, do you. Two minute warm up. First two, do you? We market track. Financial literacy. Let's get the vibration right before we talk about this money. First two, do you? Two minute warm up. Market trash. Shout out all the snoop. First two, do you? Get the vibe right. You know how we do. Gotta stay focused on the money. You know how we do over here. First two, do you? Stay focused. Two minute warm up. Don't be wrong with my bone in my hand. 20 grand and some of you don't know about this. Yeah. Gotta get your vibration, get your frequency right. Then we talk about this money. Yeah. I'm just OG, off and game. I'm going to lead you to the financial lady. See ya. Back, we back, we back. And y'all already know we tri, tri, trapping. Man, each and every Thursday, man. And we back into it, man. And check this out. Y'all know when I do that Birdman hand rub. You know when I do that Birdman hand rub, what time it is, man. We about to learn something, man. A couple months ago. Just a couple months ago, one, two, couple months ago, I told y'all about the stock that was knocking shit off the block. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about they trying to, they 
Lil John crunk movement through the uh through the stock market streets. You know what I'm saying? In video. Told y'all that about. I'm gonna say two months ago, man. I'm gonna pop that up so y'all can see. Bing. There it is. Ain't no cap in my rap. You know what I'm saying? But look, that thing then hit over a thousand dollars a share, man. A thousand dollars a share. A year, two years ago, it was under one hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, your boy slipped up, man. I supposed to been in there like swimwear, but look, it ain't too late, man. We ain't got the FOMO, but it ain't too late. I supposed to be bringing y'all options this week. Me and my dude, my bro from another mother, Zeta Asian, we ran up some racks, man, but that got the weight. We talking about NVIDIA, and I want you to get in position. Don't miss out. That's why I'm here. OG, off and game. I gotta put you on, man. Do not miss out. NVIDIA, about to do a stock split. What's a stock split, Dre? What it sound like? They split the stock, you know what I'm saying? Right now, it done ran up to over 1,000. Last time I checked, it was almost 1,100, you feel me? They supposed to do the stock split on the 10th, the 7th. It goes in effect on the 10th. So look, is that 1,000 a share? They gonna break it down. I'm going to explain the split to you real quick, like, then I'm going to let the millionaire mentors holla at you. They can explain it a little better. You know, the ones I pay to play, but bring it to y'all for free. So just think about it like this. A whole pizza. I can slice it in one, two, and make four big slices. Or I can slice it and make 16 slices. It's still a whole pizza. That's pretty much what the stock split is. You know what I'm saying? Instead of one share being a thousand a share, they doing a 10 to one, if I'm not mistaken. So instead of you having one, you'll have 10 shares and they'll break it down to like a hundred and some a piece to equal out to that thousand. So the stock didn't change. The format of the stock didn't change. Nothing changed. They just breaking it down. So the retail investors as myself, we can get in. I'd rather spend a hundred dollars on a share than spend a thousand dollars on a share and that psychologically for the investor it brings them in man so that's what nvidia doing so i'm gonna let the me and their mentors holla at you man they got more game on it than me i bring it to y'all because you know we market track so i had to bring it to y'all this thursday and like we do each and every thursday we going from the block to the clock and from the clock to the stops we market track Go learn something. Years ago, this is why I'm telling y'all, when you, when you hear these predictions, you got to think about where this stock was in 2022. It was $108 a share. Right now today, it's $1,100 a share in climbing. Less than two years later. You hear what I'm trying to tell you guys? We're just starting to hit the, the growth. See, see, from 93 to 2020, it was just struggling and trying to get their feet to under them. Just trying to get the business model right, trying to figure out where the direction to head, what markets they, they had to do all of that hard work. But by the time 2020 rolled around, they had a vision. The CEO of NVIDIA had a vision. They made a strategic buy for $40 billion. They didn't know if it would work or not. But it was a strategic buy. Companies are increasingly adapting NVIDIA's AI solutions to enhance productivity and operational efficiency, further driving demand for NVIDIA's product. Who are some of those companies? Meta, Tesla, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet. Just to name a few. Those are, the, those are some of your... And guess what, guys? Those... What is that, five companies? Those five companies are what? The Magnificent Seven Stocks. So my question is this, what are you waiting on? If you're not invested in the S&P, what are you waiting on? What are we waiting on? I know a lot of us are, oh, I'm all cash. I'm all cash, I'm just cash, I'm waiting. You, what are you waiting on? I, I, what are we waiting on, 2008? That, that's what you're waiting on? You're going to just buy the dip? Ain't no dip. Have you noticed? Have you seen a dip lately? Ain't no dip. When the dip coming? See, that's the problem with us. We, 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 we want to stay on the sideline thinking some dip going to happen. The dip don't never happen, and you missed your opportunity. 
What you should be doing is buying the opportunity now. And if the dip happens, buy more. That's the way I do it. I'm buying the opportunity right now. I ain't missing nothing. And now if it do dip, guess what? Dip into the cash reserves and buy the dip too. Stage. NVIDIA's target prices in 2024 remain elevated, driven by several key factors. Analysts project strong growth due to the relentless demand for AI technologies, which NVIDIA is well positioned to capitalize on. This is coming from professional analysts. They're, they're, they're painting the picture why they're gonna predict what they're gonna predict in the stock price. They're painting the picture for you. They're telling you that in 2024, still remains elevated demand. Demand, relentless demand, strong growth due to relentless demand for AI technology. Why do you say that? Because you got companies like Tesla, you got companies like Microsoft, you got companies like Alphabet, you got companies like Amazon, you got companies like Apple. All of these companies are in a race. Companies like Meta, they're all in a race to build out their AI platforms. Meta is in a race to build out a AI platform of languages. I'm just saying, we gotta, we gotta get, we gotta put it in perspective, Jose. January the third, the stock was four hundred and eighty-three dollars, which means prior to that, which was a week, we was in Christmas. It ranged between somewhere between four forty, four fifty, four. It ain't run up fifty dollars in a day, so it was about four seventy. In that week span, the market closed a couple of days. Okay, four seventy-five. How much you spent for Christmas? And let me make it make more sense. The stuff you bought for Christmas for people, the kids, and yourself, are you still using it? I have to say this, y'all ain't gonna like it. The number one way that poor people steal from rich people is buying stocks when they shrink. It's the number one way that poor people steal from rich people. But let's get into it, man. As we can see today, we are up $161,000. So that's a good day. We ain't mad at that. Show me the money. Show me the money. I know that's what y'all want to see. So we're going to get into it. So our first play is AMAC. That is the company that makes all of the machinery for the chips. Today, we made eight grand off them. We are now up 13 grand on that play. Our next play is Amazon. We got two Amazon plays, the June 21 and a September plate. We are down 1,300, down 1,900, but in total, we're up 29,000. The one we up 29,000 with, we got eight contracts. We are up 261%. <sighs> Next, we got two AVGO plays. If you don't know what AVGO is, it's a Broadcom play. There is no internet without a company like AVGO. That one did 26% today. Damn, the other one did 30% today. One of them did 8,000, the other one did 6,000. Now, that is our recession portfolio. I wanted you all to see that. You see it in the green. Let's refresh it one time to see what we are doing. All right, so today we are up $181,000. To admit they don't understand money. They're ashamed to understand that they don't, they don't, people, I've had adults tell me like, what's a stock? What's equity? They're, they're ashamed. They don't know what FDIC means, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. They don't know what SEC means, Securities Exchange. And no one taught them. And now we feel dumb. We are not dumb. No. If you're making it in America, you are a genius. And now through this Money and Wealth podcast, you can, you know, have your own university in your pocket. I want to have 52 episodes that you can give to your daughter, give to your child, get somebody getting married, give to that new parent, that new, the new couple who's about to buy a home, right? Just look, just listen to this. Just listen, you know, in your car mm -hmm. and make sure you are building a legacy and a life and not just a bunch of generational debt. I'm gonna tell you like the OG always told me. He say, hey, you better live every day like it's your last. Because one day, you gonna be right. Pop my shit, yeah, I'm pop my shit. Nigga been happy, you ain't got like this. Young nigga be hate, you ain't got like this. Pop my shit, pop my shit, pop my shit. Two thousand dollar on key, yeah, I just flooded my collar, my wrist.